Hey guys, welcome to JCW Outdoors. My sister had her baby. My mom and dad went down to uh, Hastings, Nebraska to uh, see Jackson. And my wife and kids and I and Sage are out here and uh, we're doing a little house sitting, taking care of the cats and uh, whatnot and the dog. We're doing a little, uh, I guess, uh, catch, clean, and cook. Well, this is the, the cook portion of that type of a video. We're gonna do some, uh, I don't know what the name of the recipe technically is. I think creamy, creamy garlic pheasant is what we usually call it. Uh, I have two pheasants. Uh, these birds are from uh, the first hunt Sage was back for. One thing I wanna make a quick note on is I hear a lot of people talk about, you know, tough old birds, this and that. I have harvested and eaten hundreds if not thousands of pheasants in my life. And one thing I can assure you is if prepared properly, it doesn't matter if he's still got eggshell on his beak or if he's got spurs that are two and a half inches long. A pheasant is a pheasant. Treat your meat well, prepare it well, and it doesn't matter the age. So now that that's out of the way, I'll show you a little bit about what we're gonna be doing. So step one will be to uh, cut up the pheasant and get it ready to cook. And then we will uh, brown some garlic. We'll uh, put it through the press, put some butter in a pan, and uh, brown up the pheasant with the garlic. And then we're gonna add some of our mushrooms. And once those are pretty well done, we will uh, add in our heavy whipping cream. Perhaps the best uh, ingredient known to mankind. Certainly not the healthiest ingredient, but it's, uh, it's pretty good. Um, got a little bit of uh, fresh basil, a little bit of garlic salt, and that whole concoction, the pheasant, mushrooms, garlic, and the heavy whipping cream, we'll mix it up with some bow tie noodles. I like spaghetti noodles the best for this recipe. However, we do have someone in our family who specifically requested that we have bow tie noodles tonight. So that's what we're gonna be doing. It's a very simple recipe, but yeah, I'll just kind of take you through how we do it, and I hope you guys will give it a shot. It is really, really good. And obviously, uh, it doesn't have to be done with pheasant. You could use chicken or another game meat that might be uh, lighter. I have not ever done this with duck or anything like that. I think it's uh, like a waterfowl or grouse. They're pretty red, so yeah, I don't know if it would go too well with the cream, but at the same time, I don't think it would be bad. That's what I've got for now, and uh, we'll be back when we start the process. Thanks. So I really like my uh, Havilon knives, but I don't have them with me, so I'll just do this as best as I can, but basically just cutting the meat off of the bone here. Just kind of go along and gently remove all the meat from the bone. I think I said that already. Get down here, and there's a kind of a little cartilage piece right there. You can probably see that little yellow guy. Can't eat him. Up there. Just cut along. And then save just a little scrap of meat there. Now that I've got that deboned, I'll kind of take this. It sections out pretty well. But anyway, I'll just kind of go along separating it where the tendons are. Um, two parts. I cut them up A so they cook a, a bit more evenly and also it's a good opportunity to go through pick out any debris feathers in other words that might be in your meat. One other thing here is you know I mentioned cutting out or pulling off the the feathers that are inside there. Check for BBs. Um, I made a recipe not too long ago that a uh, member of my family ended up uh, hurting his tooth because there was a BB in there and I, I feel just awful when that happens. I mean, it's it's part of eating wild game, especially game birds that you're gonna come across pellets, but um, yeah, it hurts. It can be very damaging, which is likewise very expensive. So just gonna do your best. I've thought about investing in a little uh, metal detector. I've seen some folks use those and it might be kind of nice to have something like that, if for no other reason than to uh, to save yourself the pain and agony of biting onto a BB. I've got my uh, gizardos and my hearts. Don't have to cut those up. All right, I'll do a, a breast quick. 
as you can see up in the corner here there's some pellet damage I could get in there and rinse and pick at it but I'll just do something like that it's it's quicker just as efficient obviously looking into your BB holes is a pretty good place to check for pellets in the food and you can cut right along it and get in there and take a look oh, no pellets a couple of uh, I don't know what you want to call them little feather feather scraps so we'll just cut around that personally I'd eat them some people are a little more picky which whatever that's their prerogative so there's that we got our little breast pieces I'll cut these down just a little more too and you can cut the fat off if you want I usually get a lot of it but I'll leave some of it on there cooks in very nice so and as soon as I cut away wouldn't you know it there it is a little pellet hmm appears to be a number two no yeah, maybe a black cloud tough to say but anyway yeah I'm glad we got it out of there and another good reason to uh, cut where the where there are uh, pellet holes we have got our meat all cut up and ready to brown and that will be the next step stay tuned we'll put our olive oil in the pan we will press our garlic we will add the pheasant we will add the mushrooms and then we'll put in the heavy whipping cream and the garlic salt and then when it's about done, we'll add some of that fresh basil. And then off to the side, we will do the bow tie noodles. All right, my esteemed colleague, who's been in her pajamas all day, yeah. is going to press some garlic for us. Just give her the groceries. Here. Hey, you got one. Yeah. Woo! Here, let me help you, honey. All right, we got our garlic going. Now we'll add our pheasant. This is going to be graceful. One more piece there. there we go. Now we'll go ahead and okay. stir that around. All right, it says four quarts of water, bring it to a rolling boil, and then add your noodles, go for 12, 14 minutes. I'm one of those guys where I'll watch the pot and it will never boil. So usually I just get it in there, get it started, and then add in however, however much I want for noodles. Uh, an important side note here is I usually boil more noodles than what is necessary, and then I'll uh, just kind of go through, take noodles out and add them to the creamed pheasant that way I don't get too many noodles or not enough noodles you can just kind of feel it you feel it you can just kind of sense where it's right boil up however many noodles you think you'll need then boil a couple more and then after they're all done you'll add them to the meat and the cream get it close to the water All right, now that we have our pheasant sufficiently browned, we're gonna go ahead and drop in our uh, mushrooms. Usually get the baby bellas as the whole mushroom, slice them up to the thickness that we like, but I think any mushroom would work, but just use your personal favorite. So you don't have to uh, cook the mushrooms for long because once we add the cream, like we're doing right now, they will uh, cook down from there. So again, I'm sorry I don't have exact measurements on all of this, I'll give you a pretty good idea, but that's a quart there, and we probably used two-thirds of it, mm -hmm. maybe somewhere in that range. So anyway, put it in there. Um, make sure you stir it. Uh, don't bring it to a boil. That can curdle it, but um, just a nice, nice heavy simmer. Bowtie noodles are rolling, and we will be all done here in about 10 minutes. And while we're cooking, that's when we'll go ahead and throw in some of the garlic salt. Um, sprinkle it on, stir it in, give it a taste, and make sure it's to your liking. Just about to the end of the process, we're going to throw on the, the basil on the top. In a minute here, we'll uh, drain these noodles off and mix them in with the cream and the pheasant. And one last ingredient to put on top is some uh, just good Parmesan cheese.
We've got it here pretty much all cooked. It's a little runnier than how we usually do it. However, with these bow tie noodles, since they're a little more al dente, we'll add those in there. It will soak up that cream and it will be good to go. So there we have it. Creamy Parmesan garlic pheasant. Very, very good. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it and I hope you try it out. So until next time, Keep that tradition alive.